All right, let's go on. I've been a member of Patriot Front for a little over a year now. Since joining, I have come to realize that it was one of the best decisions I have made in my entire life. Despite not even knowing their real names, I consider many in my network my closest friends. Our shared experiences have made them closer than family. The brotherhood I have found in PF is very much what I'd hoped for in the military. There is nothing else to be found that is like it. And it is this brotherhood that has solved a problem I did not even realize I had. Prior to joining PF, like many, I was a nationalist without a nation. I spent a great amount of time only admiring figures and movements from overseas. I found my feeling of identity in cultures from societies that are now history. While these things do have merit and honor, they should only exist as guidance, not what you dedicate all your pride to, as they are long gone. It is especially easy to do this when we are told that the identity we are born to is defined by everything except us. We are told American means a great progressive experiment of multiracialism. They used to tell us that anyone can be American so long as they believe in the Constitution, but now that part is dropped as well. We are shown that America means every expression of a culture through music or media must be about disgusting sexual acts, flexing of wealth, or celebration of crime. Then we see that America, America means exporting these values to the rest of the world and forcibly occupying those who do not comply. We are told to ditch our national identity in favor of whatever product is in season. We are told that this is what America has always been, but also to hate what America used to be. The truth is that these ideals have never been the historical or even current authentic image of America. The identity of our nation is not tied to our current or even historical state leaders. It is defined by the character of the average American. It is very clear that the average American, despite the cultural or political differences of his time, would undoubtedly stand with us today. American has always meant struggle and conquest. Indeed, we must not have shame for being separated from Europe by sea because our American identity is founded in the greatest and purest form of European character through fearless conquest and brilliant strategy that can only come from a European mind. Our identity is not a breaking away from European character, but it is forged in the victory of European nature. It is the men here that have made me realize this. The men who have diligently planned and attended activism. The men who have fearlessly risked everything they have in their life to defend our people when nobody else will. The men who have stood tall and proudly walked streets from Chicago to Philadelphia that are now as foreign and dangerous to us as this land was when our fathers first came to it. It is the men here that have made me stop wishing that I could have been born in a different era to fight. And instead, I am now thankful for this struggle and who I share it with. It is the few young men here today that have come, come to embody American identity. And it is these men who have the sole right to this identity from our forefathers. We are the only ones who have a right to claim this nation as ours and no other has the ability to take this precious identity away from us. And so I ask you now, do you give a tumor the honor of the heart? There is no reason to let a parasite, draining the soul of our nation, define it for us. Indeed, we must face this disease head on and excise it with our own hands. Just as our forefathers faced a savage land to conquer, we face a savage beast to slay. Just as our forefathers faced the war against all odds, we must throw ourselves into this battle without fear of our own destiny, but with that of our sons. And it is our duty to find and perfect every means within ourselves to achieve victory against this disgusting creature that now holds our people hostage. It is not enough to simply participate as an actor playing out a script written by someone else. 
Our numbers are so few that we must always seek and forge new tactics in this fatal war. It is our duty because the fate of our people is on the line. You see our people, white Americans, in a completely miserable and broken state every day. These are great people with great potential that have been turned into slaves, and it is your duty to free them. There is nobody else that can come in and save us, nobody else to shirk our responsibilities to, only you and your brothers. You have been passed the torch from your forefathers. You must decide whether you will let it go dim and dark or stoke it into a great blaze that will guide those worthy of it and scorch those who attack it. Hail victory. Hail victory.